On seven occasions, our friend and driver Roman took us to the village of Otusko Turianska in western Ukraine to visit with my husband's first cousin, Hannah, and her extended family and friends thereabouts. Hannah was well known for her cooking and always put on amazing feasts, and Roman was always welcomed there like a son. In one picture, you will see Roman with Hannah, myself, Orest, her grandson-in-law, um, Christina, her great-granddaughter-in-law, and my husband, Russell, outside Hannah's home. Hannah's home looks out on the road where most of the cows from the village would go back and forth, with a minimum of supervision, to the pastures every day. And in that painting, you will see in the background some of the old buildings from the uh, communist era when they had communal farms. These buildings are mostly in disrepair now, and the water tower no longer functions. People need to have their own well in their yards, and by our standards, these wells are quite primitive. Hannah always had numerous farm animals, and you will see her feeding her flock of geese with a melon, um, also milking the cow, and then, of course, making pierogies, which is a stable of Ukra staple of Ukrainian food. Her grandson-in-law, Orest, would till the pasture, and you see that he has a sort of homemade implement for that purpose, made with bicycle parts. One summer, we were lucky enough to meet Orest's wife, who is Hannah's granddaughter. Lesia works in Italy, along with her sister, in order to send money back to Ukraine. In the village, most people do not have cars, and it is typical to have one or two horses for either transportation or for working on the farm. And you will see Orest coming for his team of horses in Hannah's backyard. We got to meet Hannah's great-grandchildren, um, several of them, and two of them feature in my paintings. Nazar is in the farmyard with Rex, the dog. And then you'll see Nazar with his brother, Sergei, in Hannah's kitchen, which is in a separate building from her house. And uh, Sergei is reading a book that we brought for him. Um, he did not possess many books of his own, and he was quite taken with this gift. In the next picture, Hannah is with two of her great-grandchildren, Vasilena and Taras, who are siblings. Uh, Vasilena has gone on to study law in the city of Lviv in Ukraine, and I am on Facebook with Taras. We took the family to visit the nearby Pocheyev Monastery, on one occasion, and we're interested to discover that not all the members of our group were that happy to be visiting the monastery because apparently it was owned at that time by the Moscow Patriarchy. This issue has since been rectified, and I believe all of such monasteries are now owned by Ukraine. The last uh, picture is a painting of Hannah at the age of 90. She died in 2016 and at the time was the oldest person in her village. And she um, was much celebrated and uh, will be much missed.